Welcome to Can You Etch It, the web's first laser engraving series that specializes in laser engraving strange, unique, and even common items. This is Alan Reeves with Bookworm Laser and Design, and you can find me at bookwormlaser.com. This time I'm engraving a couple of impact sockets. These particular sockets are cobalt brand sockets, sizes 1 and an eighth and 1 and a quarter inches. They appear to be powder coated carbon steel with the cobalt lo logo laser engraved through the coating. Due to the nature of the material and the appearance of the mark, the logo looks like it was laser engraved with a fiber or other type laser. To engrave any round object, a fixture is used to rotate the item to allow for a larger design. In this case, the design was a little over two and a half inches long and it wrapped around the socket. The text of the laser engraving reads, if this isn't yours, don't even think about touching it. The result was good, but obviously not the same quality as the logo. At the end of the video, you'll see the final result. Laser engraving through powder coating was a new experience. The result was good, but it would have looked much better with a deeper engraving, similar to the logo. Regardless, these t sockets are tools and meant to be used so the looks are really secondary to their function. The mark serves only as an identifier since these are possibly the world's only cobalt impact sockets with the text engraved in those sizes. I may be wrong, but I doubt there are any others out there. If you want to check out any of the information and photos from this episode of Can You Etch It? Please visit bookwormlaser.com and search for impact sockets or check out the post on Friday, March 16, 2012. Once again, this is Alan Reeves with Bookworm Laser and Design. If you have any questions about laser engraving or just want to chat, please visit me at bookwormlaser.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. The links to all my profiles are on the site. To stay up to date with any new posts, please subscribe to the RSS feed. You can find it in the upper right-hand corner of the site. Have a great day.